There's been a lot of 777 news that we need to cover. From a new 777 freighter airline to drama over the 777X at the Dubai Air Show. First up, 777F orders galore. The past two months have been good to Boeing as they've been netting all new freighter orders for their largest twin engine model. Package integrator FedEx has been loving their 777 so much that they begged their accountants for just one more 777. And last month, in October, it was then announced that they got their wish and added one more 777 freighter to their Boeing order book. Now they have just seven more 777s to receive. After acquiring secondhand 777s from the likes of TNT Express and Etihad Cargo, FedEx will have over 50 777s by 2025. Shipping container giant slash startup cargo airline CMA CGM also recently announced a 777 freighter order, although not for just one of the aircraft, but two. This would bring up their current air fleet of four by 50%. Their air division has just barely taken off as it's not even a year old yet, but air demand has been insatiable and isn't going anywhere. Shipping competitor Maersk saw this move and thought that it wasn't such a bad idea, so a month after CMA CGM's announcement, they too announced an order of two brand new 777 freighters. However, unlike their competitor, Maersk actually has been in the air freight business for some time now via their all 767 subsidiary, Star Air. These planes mostly fly for DHL and UPS throughout Europe, but along with this order announcement, Maersk also announced that it is acquiring German freight forwarder Senator International. And with the recent integration of its logistics division at Damco, and from what my inside sources tell me, it is my understanding that Maersk is trying to become its own end-to-end -end integrator, which means it's wanting to acquire customers directly, not through middlemen, aka forwarders. Out of the four main global ocean shipping giants, half of them now have in-house airlines. If you're interested in how this could lead to your store-bought goods actually getting cheaper, drop a comment letting me know you'd like a video on the subject of freight forwarding. It's a fun, complex topic that definitely needs its own video. But anyways, let's get into the juicy topic at hand, anger in Dubai. Starting this November 14th and continuing until the 18th is the Dubai Air Show, which is the main alternative to the Eurocentric air shows at Farnborough and at Paris. While there is pageantry for the public via choreographed sorties, the main purpose of these air shows is business. Aviation execs from around the world gather in order to make deals and meet face to face. While this is usually a joyous and opportunistic occasion, it's going to be quite tense between Boeing and Emirates. Emirates Chief Executive Tim Clark has publicly stated that he is very frustrated not only with the delay in the 777X program, which forced the airline to turn back its order two years ago at the same air show, but also with the lack of visibility into the progress of the program. Sir Tim Clark said recently that he isn't sure whether the airline is getting its first 777X in 2023, 2024, or even 2025. That can definitely be quite stressful when trying to plan out your airline's capacity years ahead. What's worse is that he also said that he now doesn't even know if Boeing is fully committed to the smaller 777X-8. From my research, I could only find firm 777X-8 orders from Emirates and no other airline. So it could be possible, given that there doesn't seem to be much demand, that Boeing nixes that program entirely, since the 787-10 has similar seating capacity, albeit much shorter range. We'll have to see if any interesting developments come from this year's air show, which I'm sure they will. Remember to let me know if you're interested in how the shipping industry is drastically changing and how integrating air freight is a huge piece of that. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one if you're subscribed.